That is a very far-fetched assumption. And it's unfortunate that for a government that had a lapsed security, think that the NDC is responsible for innocent Ghanaians expressly defining their dissatisfaction with a government and showcasing just how upset they are with the current management of this country. You come and associate it with the NDC. You have 65,000 NAPCO beneficiaries that you have left unemployed. Per the security analysis that went on prior to President Akufado going to stand there, he was told that we have national service personnel and NAPCO beneficiaries in the crowd. You have 65,000 NAPCO beneficiaries that you owe 10 months arrears. You don't need us to match anybody to Black Star Square. Your own, the, 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 the offshoots of your own bad policies and programs is what met you at Black Star Square. Honorable K.T. Hammond, it was most unfortunate that a man his age will still open his mouth and utter such kind of words. There are countries in this world that are led and governed properly by young presidents under the age of 40. So to think that just because young people have grown beards and they express themselves that they have nothing in their heads and they are, even God in his own wisdom, when he created the shoreline, even though the sea is full of water, still put coconuts along the shore. Hmm. I think that you journalists, you should refrain from putting microphones in front of Anabu Katie Hammond. You do him a big favor. And you do all of us as a country also a great favor. Okay. In 2016, AFAG went on demonstrations in London. They booed at then President Mahama and they called him a thief. That was AFAG. A baby of President Akufado's creation. In 2016, Madame Otiko Jaba called Mahama a wicked man. Today she has seen her level of who actually was wicked to her. They've left her unemployed. After, after, after all the efforts she put they in campaigning gave her for a president. They position, by the way, an appointment, and she was the one who rejected it. So if you say they left her unemployed, you know, that thing, you know, you know, you know, you know that thing. The woman, you let's keep our conversation. No, I'm just saying, is just to put that out there. They didn't the point I made, the point I made was that she said he was wicked. Despite all that, Mahama was forgiven to all of them. President Akufado was booed because the youth of this country are very angry with him. The only reason they still manage him and tolerate him and his government. Is because we've all bought into this idea of a democratic Ghana. That is the only reason that Akufado is still sitting there as president. For the mismanagement of this country, for the hardship <clears throat> and the difficulties that he has imposed upon people and their families. And mind you, whenever there's a crisis, the group that suffers the most are the youth. When there are employment layoffs, last to enter, first to exit. They are always the ones whose names will show up first. Many of them are students. They can't afford their school fees because their parents are now reeling in difficulties with high cost of living. Those of them, there's a, it was a cosmopolitan program. Mm -hmm. Nice outfit you wore, by the way. Okay. It was a cosmopolitan program. You have students who are paying in dollars and pounds, and today your currency has depreciated astronomically, 34% in just one year. Even more. So, and look at the rate of inflation. Now at 37 percent, cost of living is drilling people, and everybody is experiencing it. But President Akufado and his wife, so she can afford to go and buy a 290,000 Ghana CD vintage Chanel bag, plus a 19,000. Do they go back to buy the extra bag and spend on themselves because they are not experiencing what you are experiencing? It could be their personal money. We can't really. That that that, that is their choice. You know, let me tell you something in history. Prior to the French Revolution, when Marie Antoinette's uh, chamberlain told her that the commoners are complaining that there is no bread, mm. she was so lost in the scheme of things, she said, let them go and eat cake. That was how lost she was. Mm -hmm. That is how lost they are. So, Bella, let's not waste too much time on... Um, well, I just and wanted to point on this, yes, of President, course. Ma President uh, Akufado 
actually deserved the booing. Well, he was and shared more. as well. And more. So it was mixed reactions. I saw a video, one of your colleague journalists who was saying that next time people should go with tomatoes so that they can be thrown. <laughs> Even I'm my cross sure of with yeah. it. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not that's, asking no, anybody to that's, go and not exactly, knock on anybody. Yeah. That's but, wrong. You wouldn't but, want but, anybody but, to but go but and the fact of the matter really is that the fact of the matter really is that this government has been nothing less than shambolic. Mm. 